Hey everyone, this is Exotic Gaming here, and today we're back with, once again, another Fortnite video. Now, we gotta face the facts here. Fortnite has gone through a lot of changes over the past year or so, so much so that it's almost like you're playing an entirely different game. Many, many new guns and other items have either been removed, nerfed, or buffed, or forgotten about completely, and today I wanted to make an entire video dedicated to some of those forgotten, removed weapons in Fortnite. Sit back, relax, maybe grab a snack, because over the next 10 minutes or so, we'll be talking about the 10 best removed weapons in Fortnite history. I hope you're happy with the video. If you guys enjoy the video, please take a second and leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel for more Fortnite Top 10 videos, and most importantly, turn on notifications. You're missing out on so much if you don't do that, so do it. Big shout out to EpicBaller360 for providing the background gameplay for this video. I'll leave his channel link down below in the description. Subscribe to him right now. Alright, now that that's taken care of, I guess we can jump into this. So, to start things off, we need to take a look at one of my favorite old weapons from Fortnite, the crossbow. This is one of those weapons you either have a love or hate relationship with. Some people love it, and some people hate it. I personally am one of those people who love it, and it's not because it's a powerful weapon, because it isn't. Anyone who's used it knows how much of a pain the crossbow really is. It takes multiple shots to kill a full health enemy, and since you're just shooting an arrow, the travel time for long distance shots is immense. It is ridiculously difficult to get a kill with this thing at close, medium, or long range, and I guess with that combination of overall uselessness, Epic Games decided to remove it from the game. I for one though, wouldn't mind if it was brought back in special game modes. Next up, we have, well, not one of my favorite weapons in the game. In fact, I rarely ever use this gun because I absolutely hated it. The Six Shooter. Yes, at times it could be pretty cool, and I have to say, when you get up close and personal to someone who has a shotgun, and you somehow manage to hipfire this thing at the enemy and still kill them, it has an awesome feeling, but that doesn't change my overall feeling towards the gun. It's basically a worse version of the regular revolver. It should have been in the game for a much shorter period of time during that Halloween event. The Halloween event ended up being way longer than it should have been, going way into November. And well, because of it, people started hating the gun. Do you guys like the six shooter? Who remembers that time where all you needed to do was spray and pray in order to win a gunfight? Yeah, dark times. We choose to forget that time. Fortnite's gotten a lot better about that, but unfortunately, the removal of spray and pray meta has come at a cost. A cost of certain weapons being removed. The light machine gun is a prime example of this. This gun wasn't in the game for very long, and unfortunately, it never really found its true place in Fortnite. At long range, it was super inaccurate, and at close range, I mean, you could use a shotgun or SMG and get far better gameplay. That left the light machine gun to really only be used at medium range, but that's where the rifles and the minigun came into play. So did people really ever use this thing? Not too much. You only really saw noobs using it, and because of that, the LMG was vaulted. It's a sad day whenever I talk about the original revolver, man. I love this thing. It's such a shame this was one of those weapons that got removed from Fortnite. The sad truth is, this was one of those weapons not enough people were using. Back in the olden days, yeah, a lot more people used the revolver, but that was only because there were less weapons in the game in general. Now, with a gun with little damage and a slow firing rate, there really is no place for it in the game. Epic Games can certainly add the revolver back in for certain special game modes, as I feel like it could work well in them. You could use the revolver in the sniper-only game modes, for example. Epic Games, let's get this thing added back into the game. Now, what list of removed weapons would be complete without me mentioning the suppressed submachine gun? Yes, this came as a surprise to me when it was first removed from the game. I thought, since they had buffed it a bit, and since the blue version of it was actually quite powerful, especially at close range, it was going to stay in the game for quite some time. Turns out that's not the case at all. For whatever reason, I guess not enough people used the suppressed submachine gun, and in turn, it met its fate. 
I think this has a very big possibility of returning. Yes, we do know Epic Games doesn't want too many of one single class in the game, and they have specifically said this in person, but I feel like if any of the removed weapons came back, this would probably be the one. You guys saw it coming, and I guess the time to talk about it is now. A gun everyone suspected might be removed, but definitely not as soon as it did. The double barrel shotgun. At the closest range possible, this was, without a doubt, the strongest shotgun in Fortnite. I guess it makes sense. If you look at other games with double-barreled shotguns, generally, they're pretty powerful as well. However, in Fortnite, the double-barrel struggled to find its spot in someone's loadouts. People wanted shotguns with a bit more range, and that's why the pump and the tack have stood out and reigned supreme over this gun. Only time will tell if the double-barrel shotgun will ever return. My second favorite weapon on this list is a gun that made me feel quite surprised when it got removed. The Burst Assault Rifle. Yes, it is true, a lot of people didn't like this gun. I mean, you can take Tifu for example, he absolutely hated it. You can look at any stream highlights ever and see him talking about it. But hey, I really enjoyed this gun because with the Burst mechanic, getting all headshots in such a short amount of time was just the most satisfying feeling ever. I mean, dude, you could instantly take out someone peeking their head over their build way quicker than you could with the regular AR. I think that's definitely something worthy of mentioning. However, in early game, if you got this from a chest in Tilted Towers, for example, you were basically screwed. So I guess that's why it was removed. A gun none of us has ever seen in Fortnite before, mostly because there is literally only one recorded sighting of it in the game is the Zapotron. Doesn't it just sound insane? Well, it was, my dude. The Zapotron was a charge-up weapon released in one of the very early versions of Fortnite, but it never really was widely released. It was extremely rare. They said it came from airdrops, but only one person ever found it. And in fact, it was the rarest weapon ever in Fortnite. It actually took a very special type of ammo called charge ammo that also never came into the game. I really wish I was lucky enough to see this thing in game, and hey, maybe eventually Epic Games will release it back into Fortnite. Perhaps there will be an electric themed season in the future, and maybe this will finally find its place in the game. The second to last weapon we need to talk about was a lot of people's favorite gun in the game during the time that it existed. The drum gun. Here's the thing, right? The drum gun was ridiculously OP. This Tommy gun was added in not too long ago, and Epic Games immediately saw a swath of complaints from competitive players saying the gun was unbalanced, and a lot of times you died from someone using it who really shouldn't have killed you. High damage, high ammo capacity, and the easy access of ammo made this thing a common sight in everyone's loadout. But my god, it was an absolute beast. I kind of hope they add this gun back in, but nerf it to make it more balanced, because the truth is, it's just a cool looking gun in general. But hey, guess what? We finally come to the end of this list. My all-time favorite removed gun in Fortnite was the beautiful tactical SMG. I am still so salty this gun was removed, guys. You don't even understand. This gun has gotten me through so many intense moments, and <laughs> I owe it all to the tactical SMG. This had a super fast firing rate, it sounded awesome, and you could get it all the way up to the purple variant. Towards the end of its lifespan, pros like Myth finally realized the full potential of the tactical SMG, and started using it quite a lot. But unfortunately, guns like the pump shotgun always was chosen first. The tactical SMG soon became forgotten, and got vaulted a few seasons ago. I want this thing added back in more than anything else. Epic Games, please, do something about this gun. I love it. We should start a petition to bring back the tactical SMG, man. Someone create that. But hey, would you look at that? That's it for this video. I don't want to take up any more time, so I'll end it here. I hope you all enjoyed the awesome gameplay from EpicBaller360. He's the man. You gotta subscribe to him. His channel link is down below in the description. If you enjoyed my commentary and you like playing Fortnite, hey, it doesn't hurt subscribing to my channel. You won't regret it. I plan on making many more Fortnite Top 10 videos in the near future. Leave a like on this video if you've stayed until the end. 
Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads, including the one that's coming out tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.